designing Red Dead Redemption's multiplayer experience, Rockstar set out to make it as engaging as the single-player campaign and reinvent the idea of open-world online gaming. The multiplayer of Red Dead Redemption begins here, across windswept plains, riding through mossy pine forests, parched deserts, and snow-capped mountain ranges. During competitive play, Rockstar Games wanted to combine the excitement of conventional multiplayer shooters with the unique spirit and mechanics of a third-person open-world game set in the American West. Matches begin with something new, a classic Mexican standoff. If you are the last man standing at the end of the bloodshed, make your way to the best sniper location. Each mode is a Western version of a classic multiplayer game, based around a particular town or geographical feature, all of which have been specially designed for the purpose. You can enter these games at specific markers, or via a playlist selected by a posse member. Shootout is a deathmatch. A pistol or rifle is handy, but a fire bottle makes even quicker work of opponents. Gang Shootout brings your posse into play. Teamwork is key, whether it's flanking a rival posse on horseback or having a friend man a Gatling gun. Hold Your Own is a classic team-based capture the flag, where each team has one base and one bag of gold. A match set in DS Coronas requires both equestrian and shooting skills to cover the vast distances between bases. Other locations are more intimate. In Gold Rush, multiple bags of gold are scattered around the area. But be warned, bags of gold are heavy. Even one will slow you down, while two will leave you at a big disadvantage. In Grab the Bag, a single bag appears. Team members grab it and return to base. That is, if a cannon doesn't get to you first. That's why it's good to have a friend who is proficient with a rifle. Certain crates scattered throughout the world upgrade weapons, top off ammo, or fill your Deadeye meter. Deadeye won't slow time down, but it will let you paint targets on multiple enemies for quick kills. Complete weapons challenges with tiers of kills and headshots and get a golden version of that weapon, perfect for the outlaw with a certain style. Whether exploring the vast landscapes with your posse, taking down another posse, or going at it solo, the multiplayer of Red Dead Redemption brings a whole new way to experience the game. While many multiplayer titles confine gameplay to a small single level, in Free Roam, the enormous single-player game world is open and available to explore. This is your game lobby. You can ride across the plains, encounter other players in gang hideouts, or join organized games and challenges. Players can go out on their own or band together to form posses. Comprised of up to eight people, your posse can explore separately or together. Take out other posses, fight criminals or the law, jump into a group activity, such as a traditional multiplayer deathmatch at any time, or maybe just go on a gentle hunt together. Scattered throughout the map are hunting areas where waves of animals will attack you and your posse members. Or you can explore the world and hunt elusive animals. When a leader forms a posse, they can set waypoints for the gang to head to. If they jump into a skirmish, the posse can join in the fray. Several posses can fight at once, with up to 16 players battling it out wherever and however they choose. While playing free roam, posses can also attack gang hideouts, which are multi-part team-based challenges or become an outlaw and evade law enforcement. Completing these kinds of challenges gives the player experience points, 
There are 50 levels in free roam, and the experience points meter tracks your progression. With experience, you will level up and unlock better weapons and mounts, new characters, titles, and challenges. From riding across the plains with a posse to attack a town full of outlaws, or going solo to take down targets, the free roam in Red Dead Redemption is attempting to change the concept of multiplayer in open world games. But free roam is just one aspect of Red Dead Redemption's multiplayer. Should you choose, there are more structured competitive modes we'll reveal soon. Rockstar Games presents the Legends and Killers Pack for Red Dead Redemption. Download it and battle in nine different locations where you can unleash a deadly new weapon, the Tomahawk. Complete new challenges for most kills, headshots, or for taking out an enemy in the air. The pack features battles in Blackwater, where you can head to the rooftops for the best sniping positions. Manzanita Post features watchtowers that let you get the jump on opponents until they get the jump on you. Thieves Landing is under a constant river fog with plenty of hiding places, perfect for cornering enemies. Or head to Rio Bravo and battle in the iconic desert landscape. For fans of 2004's Red Dead Revolver, the characters are making a cameo appearance in the multiplayer of Red Dead Redemption. Play as Red Harlow, Annie Stokes, Jack Swift, Buffalo Soldier, Shadow Wolf, Pig Josh, Ugly Chris, or Mr. Kelly. Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer delivers a massive open world for players to explore in free roam, competitive modes, or in co-op. And now, download the new Legends and Killers pack on Xbox Live or the PlayStation Network. And keep a lookout for more upcoming Red Dead Redemption downloadable content soon. For Red Dead Redemption, Rockstar Games is expanding multiplayer free roam and competitive modes with a wide array of completely new content, including gambling, gang hideouts, hunting grounds, plus multiplayer horse racing and the incredible new Stronghold mode. As well as the introduction of the most devastating weapon yet, the explosive rifle. All in the Liars and Cheats pack. Play as one of 15 new multiplayer characters from the single player story, including some of the biggest liars and cheats in the game. Now you can be degenerates like Seth, Agent Ross, Irish, Nigel West Dickens, as well as John Marston, Marshall Johnson, and many others. Play in the all-new Stronghold mode. Two teams of eight can play. One team attacks, the other defends, and then halfway through you switch sides. You may be called to defend an area or break into a safe while your teammates protect you. There are four different maps to try in an entirely new multiplayer experience in the game. Players can also choose to infiltrate up to seven new gang hideouts. Posse up and take on hideouts to level up quickly. After a match, head out and compete in multiplayer horse races. And since it's called the Liars and Cheats Pack, there are, of course, some less honorable ways of ensuring your horse comes in first. After a race, why not play some cards or dice? Red Dead Redemption fans requested multiplayer online poker. You can clean out the table playing cards or call someone's bluff in Liar's Dice. The more you play, the more experience points you get. Or maybe go hunting in one of the four new hunting grounds. Scour Roca Madera for bobcats. Stock wolves. Broken tree is full of boars. Or hunt cougars. The Liars and Cheats Pack for Red Dead Redemption is a wide-ranging expansion of the multiplayer experience. Available for download on September 21st.
If the weather outside is dreary and no fun, join your beastly friends online for a multiplayer game of Undead Overrun. The dead are rising. Graveyards are possessed. From Cooch Chapel to Tumbleweed to Odd Fellows Rest. The infected are spreading across the land. Choose your weapons wisely to gain the upper hand. For ammo and new armaments, loot, coffin, or crate. Tis sad you're only postponing your fate. You've got them all. Ah, what a relief. Too bad your moment of rest will be brief. The demonic hordes will keep coming in wave after wave. Time is short. Banish them back to the grave. Hordes of zombies swarm and things will get dire. Try some phosphorus bullets and set them on fire. If your friend has fallen, be quick to revive. Good luck. I wonder how long you'll survive. <laughs> Ha ha ha!